OK, I'm going to show an example of customizing the connection points now with C Electrical. I'm going to show an example of creating a symbol from scratch. That's my symbol. I'm going to right click, choose block, and create it as a component. And I'll give it a device ID. Now, if I want my connection point to look different to that, what I can do is explode the symbol and I can put that on the edge of the box and get rid of the, the line. Now my text is not particularly easy to read at this point. So what I can also do to this, the connection point circle and the number are actually part of a, a sub block. I shouldn't explode this. So what I need to do is separate the two and rotate the text. So I'll go down to a slightly finer grid. I can use Control E for edit text and click on the number one. And I can change that using the advanced properties here make it center justified and change it to an angle of zero. To reposition this, because they're part of the same block, if I try and move one, the other goes with it. So what I need to do is use F6 to select element, which selects the number. I can right click and choose move. And now I can move that text center justified. And now I have it in the position that I want. If I go back to maybe a 2.5 millimeter grid, I could draw a box around that. And for simplicity, what I could do, create a new folder in here for construction elements. And I can just take this graphic and I can drop that into the folder. So I can get close to it. There we go. And I'll call that CP top. In future, when I'm creating a new symbol, rather than drawing lines, I can go straight to my construction and I can start placing in connection points. When I save a symbol, I right click and choose block as a component. And when I double click, I can see the connection points. So here I could put these as A1, 13, 14. And then I can drop this and now I have these connection points already set.